Hi friends, this is Sandhya Study June channel and we will talk about out of the cradle, endlessly rocking. It is a American um, poem, okay, out of the cradle, endlessly rocking and uh, whose poet, poet name is Walter Bittman and his biography, coming to his biography, okay, it is very important poem for uh, MA English students and BA Englisher. Uh, total um, now school days also uh, this poem is uh, one of the chopped one of the poem okay and okay it is very interesting and it is very useful for everyone and um, this uh, mainly uh, meaning of the poem meaning of the poem okay let's talk to poet biography okay coming to biography okay name is Walter Whitman Born in May 31st, 1819, West Hills, New York, U.S., United States of America. And occupation, poet, essayist and journalist. Poet, essayist and journalist. Okay. Mm, everyone remember it. Uh, every student remember it. First of all, uh, poet biography is very important for every poem. Uh, one of the important and marks gained to this uh, this topic okay and next coming to works uh, works first one is leaves of graph um, it is the first collection of poem and published in 1855 leaves of graph the po first poet collection published in 1855 and next second one is out of the cradle endlessly rocking it is the published in 1859 and third one, O oh Captain, My Captain. And fourth one, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloom Deep. Okay. And next fifth one, Gravy a Series of Lectures. And sixth one, Franklin's Evans, 1842. And Out of the Cradle is the meaning of the poem. Uh, totally poet, admire of, admiring of the nature and um, our our lives though though compared to nature and birds life birds life uh, how is uh, when it, okay in I tell the I tell this okay okay next out of the cradle endlessly rocking it is very interesting poem and summary is very important for every work and his works is uh, remember and some works you Brighton every uh, any exam okay don't don't forget it uh, minimum three works are bright them okay and Whitman is among the most influential poet in American canon often called the father of free verse his words are so free and um, silent features of the words silent features of the word and easy useful words easy useful words don't um, toughest and um, very hardful words not not he was not interested and his theme is pre verse for every poem and died in march 26 1892 at the age of 72 and in the place of camden new jersey yes united states of america okay whitman uh, whitman poems are totally arrived of the poem and very cultural and very nature super um, super uh, he compared to he compared to both of the linguistic um, both of the nature and human life of the connectivity um, connectivity of their spiritual uh, spirituality of their lives okay um, very interested and uh, this poem also i i like it okay and next coming to introduction this poem was written in 1859 and incorporated into the 1860 edition of Leaves of Grass. This poem was written in 1859 and incorporate, incorporated into the 1860 edition of Leaves of Grass. Okay, it describes a young boy. Okay, it is the poem describes. Okay, mm, it describes the young boy awakening as a poet mentored by nature and his own maturing conception is okay totally it shouldn't um, see see here see here okay leaves of grass it describes the young by awakening 
as a poet mentored by nature and his own maturing consciousness maturing consciousness okay and their ideology uh, totally poet um, um, poems depend dependent on the ideology of the um, ideology of the person and ideology of the nature and um, their uh, and connectivity of the connectivity of, uh, connectivity of the two qualities of the poem and this poem is loose into the into its form ex- except for the section that uh, purport to be a transcript of the birds call which are musical in their repetition of words and phrases which are musical in their repetition of the birds and po- praise um, praises okay this poems uh, this poems describes okay and coming to summary out of the cradle has a fairly distinct plot, uh, plot line a ing by watches a pair of birds a ing by watches a pair of birds nesting birds nesting on the beach near his home on the beach he is near his home the um, the boy house the boy house near to beach and the um, his home is near to sea and marvel said them and marvel said their relationship to one another and marvel said their relationship and um, he observed their relationship and two birds of relationship uh, one another one day the female bird fails to return one day the female bird bird fails to return and the bird going to um, some other other area um, the bird not the bird not return to nesting uh, nesting on the beach okay um, and the boy was observed this situation and the male stays um, stays near the nest the male stays and maybe um, it is the the male bird stays near the nest calling for his last mate calling for his girl and maybe a female bird um, bird mate okay calling for his female bird mate the male cries touch something in the boy the male cries touch something in the boy the male the uh, the male bird uh, calling um, for his female bird and um, the boy was very um, delightful of um, the heart of the delightful heart of the disappointed heart of the something in the boy something in the boy and he seems to be able to translate what the bird is saying what the bird is saying and the um, bird expression expression of the birds um, is calling of the song calling of the song brought to tears by the bird pathos he asks nature to give him the bird one bird superior to all he asks nature to give him the one bird superior to all who asks boy boy asks to nature to give him the one bird superior to all in the rusty of the ocean at his feet in the rusty of the ocean at his feet sand his uh, sand his feet and he discerns uh, discerns the word death which continues along with the bird song to have a presence in the in his poetry it is very beautiful poem and yeah i feel also sometimes i feel also sad but why two birds uh, two birds relationship is uh, the here um, totally we are admire that uh, situation uh, in this poem and you also please and completely read this poem and summary also writer biography also and thank you thank you watching my video and please subscribe my cha- channel share like comment and bell icon press me and subscribe my channel thank you and if you are any doubts and uh, any any wrote up the poem or novel or fiction poetry indian english writing or also uh, i have read and i upload Um, coming to more than essays more than poems and more than novels i upload coming to okay i congr- uh, thank you and thank you watching my video it is beautiful poem completely don't miss this poem and don't miss this uh, poem is don't uh, 
don't forget up the your examination and thank you thank you watching my video and please subscribe my channel thank